Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is 1000 Colors and today we're going to be playing, oh I always stumble over that, we're going to be playing uh, Dragon Age Inquisition Part 1, hope you guys enjoy. So, this is probably one of my favourite games, uh, I haven't finished it yet because you have to invest so much time into it and I haven't been able to invest that much time into it unfortunately, but I'm hoping that this let's play, um, you know, drives me to finish it. Because I usually, I put off playing games, except the ones that I let's play, I usually put off playing games so I can do, like, schoolwork and that. Because, you know, education's important. So we're going to play a new game. Um, as you can see, yeah, I've already started it. And I'm pretty much going to make the same character, make the same decisions. And uh, as, as I did in my, my personal playthrough. And it's pretty much the same decisions I make in any of my playthroughs, so let's just jump into it. Now, I, th I, when I first played it, I was like, oh my gosh, that is the most badass, like, start to a game. It, you, you don't, you don't expect that it's just gonna blow up, uh, but you, you'll find out why it blew up in a minute. So I want to be a female. I kind of want to play as different races, but I really like being a human for some reason. I uh, know, boring and all that. So we're just gonna we're just gonna read it anyway. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I'm recording in 50 frames per second. So uh, yeah, I'm not doing 60 because uh, it tends to drop off and goes all weird, and I don't want it to go all laggy and out of sync and that. So I'm just doing 50 just to be safe. Um, hopefully it comes out all right. Okay, so the Canari. The Canari are a race of horned giants who follow a strict religious text known as the Kuhn. I think it's pronounced Kuhn. I'm going to try my best to pronounce these right. Oh yeah, and um, in Dragon Age 2 and 1, you could only play as a human elf or dwarf. The Canari is actually a new race uh, to to the games. Um, well, it's, it's not... It's new to the playable range of races, so yeah. Uh, those who have abandoned its principles are known as the Telvash. <laughs> Telvash. Vashoth, I think it is. And often work as mercenaries. Kunari characters get a bonus 10% physical damage resistance. Awesome. Uh, dwarves are short, stocky, and most spend their entire lives underground. Those exiled to the surface are often merchants or smugglers. Because dwarves have no connection to the Fade, they cannot be mages, but receive a 25% bonus to magic defense. Elves are historically oppressed people, distinguishable by their lith frames and pointed ears, though most survive in the poorest fringes of human cities. Others live as nomads known as the Dalish. Elves receive a bonus of 25% to range defense. I remember in the first one I played as a Dalish elf. It was really cool. I enjoyed that. Um, humans are the most numerous and powerful race in Thetis. Or Thetis. Uh, they are also the most divided politically and seem to thirst for conflict. Human characters receive a bonus ability point at the start of the game. Now, listen to the ambient sound. Yeah, it sounds sick as. I remember when I first booted it up. I was like, oh my gosh, this is this is gonna be awesome. I can't remember what I chose originally. I did choose a rogue, I just can't remember which one. But yeah, you can be a mage, you can be a warrior of either one. You can actually do both. Like with um I think I did rogue and I did dual wield, because I kinda like to get in there and stab and everything. But you can wield uh, a bow and that, but I think my focus was on I'm just getting in there and getting in the action. Uh, yeah, mages channel magical power into spells capable of a wide range of effects from debilitating opponents, uh, protecting allies, or unleashing devastating elemental energy. Those who wield magic are widely feared for their abilities and their rebellion against Tantry controllers left the land in chaos. And that's where the second one ended, pretty much. It ended between the war... Uh, between a war... that between the mages and the templars so yeah this is where we are now um warriors are frontline combatants able to withstand incredible punishment and heavy armor they are proficient in the use of two-handed weapons like mauls uh, great swords and great swords but may combine a smaller weapon with a shield for added defense 
Rogues are fighters who rely on speed and agility rather than heavy armor using skill and advantage. I don't know. Position on the battlefield to deal incredible damage. They may get up close and personal with daggers or strike from a distance with arrows. I think, yeah, that'll basically be my specialty. So I'm just going to do dual wield because that's cool. Um, oh, I would really love to do Nightmare, but for the sake of the Let's Play, I'll probably, I might go back and do Nightmare later on. Um, but for the sake of a casual Let's Play, I'm going to do Normal. So, yeah. And there we go. And it tells us our backstory, which I really like. I really like our backstory for this one. It's kind of, it's kind of bland, but I just like that, you know, I'm a rebellious child. I don't really want to do what you want me to do, but I'm going to do it anyway. And then, and yeah. Anyways, let's just read it. Um, I like the cards. I really like the art style. It's really cool as well. I think it's one of my favorite parts of the, um, the game, including the music. Um... As the youngest child of the Trevelyan noble house, I think it's Trevelyan. Yeah, it's Trevelyan noble house. You grew up in the free marcher city of Ostwick and have enjoyed a life of privilege. With close family ties to the Chantry and many relatives among the priesthood and the Templars, you were always expected to follow a similar path in service of the Maker, regardless of how you feel about the matter personally. Oh, that was... Pause. Regardless of how you feel about the matter, personally. Willing or unwilling, you were sent to the Chantry's uh, conclave to assist relatives who sought to make peace between the Templars and mages. It didn't go well. And yes, I want to import my world state. If you guys want to see my world state, I'll, I'll let you guys know. I'll tell you. Um, I made a custom world state because I never finished the first two. Um, I, I knew what was, I knew, knew the events of the first two, but I just oh, I just couldn't finish it. The first one was all right. I could have finished that. I never got around to it though. But you know, it didn't really draw me in. But the second one, but I yeah, I still really liked it. I still really liked the universe. That's why I got Inquisition, and because it looked sick as Strategy Age Two. Um, it was a step up in certain areas, I reckon. Uh, but it sucks that you could make your own character really. Uh, you didn't really have a choice who their identity was. And, oh my gosh, the dungeons were the worst. Honestly, they were copy and paste. All of the dungeons were, like, exactly the same. I think there was, like, three that it, you know, like, uh, rotated through. And it was just the same ones over. It sucked. Anyways, I'm taking so long to introduce this just to, you know... Just to kind of introduce the game, tell you guys a bit more about it, but yeah, I'm just going to start the game now. And this is really cool as well. Um, you can go through, during the loading screen, so you can like flick through and read through the cards. Even with my Beast computer, it can still be a real pain. And it, sometimes it can take ages to load. Usually it takes like ages to load if it hasn't loaded that like area. Um, when I've booted it. Like once I load an area, like go to an area and then go back. Or, or come back, or go back to camp and then go back to that area that I was. It usually doesn't take as long. But yeah, first time around it takes a while to load. So yeah, that just goes to show how much this load. That can also mean that it's poorly optimized. So there's that as well. But it's not. The optimization's pretty good. There are a couple of times I've gone, this is like really slow and laggy for no reason. But it doesn't happen too often. Ooh, here we go. Scary, spoopy skeletons. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes it sits at this screen for a little bit. Could just edit it all out, but I want you guys to get the full Dragon Age experience. Or oh, I'm lazy in my editing. No, I can totally edit it out. It's not hard. Just go chop chop. No. Oh, excuse me. I made I made homemade burger tonight. It wasn't burgers, I only had one. And it was really good. 100% Aussie beef. 
Caddy from Woolies. Had some vintage cheddar in it. My favourite vintage cheddar. Um, specifically mainland Epicure. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not going to pretend to be fancy. Oh. Less tomato, onion, and a nice white bread roll. Oh my gosh. Why is my hand sparking? What the hell happened? I noticed my character tend to look like I played basically as that face. She looked really pissed off like all the time. Oh my gosh. What is wrong with my face? Now I'm just going to go ahead and customize. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Okay. Um... I don't know whether to keep this in or like, you know, keep this in or just, you know, just to show it or speed it up or if I should like leave it. Let's make it a little darker and not alien color. Now let's just have it be all pasty and crap. You can totally change the complexion. It totally changes how your face looks. You'd be old-ish, too, which is interesting. I could have freckles, I could have wrinkles, I could have both. But I might just leave it at that. Um, oh yeah, I guess I could, I could try and look like the Witcher. I can't get the pupils right. <laughs> um, I mean, not the, like, um, get, get, oh shoot. His name escapes me right now, and I'm going to be totally murdered for not getting his name right. He is a witcher, though. Though, so I got that right. <laughs> I haven't played the game for so long. I'm so sorry. Yeah, the, the my explanation for the, the R balls. I think I might have this be part zero, actually, and this will be the introduction to the character. Then the next part will be, like, the actual story in that... So you don't actually have to watch this. You may not be watching this. So this isn't part one. This is actually part zero. But yeah, I liked the idea of having my character like have green eyes because like the way I kind of did it was that her like, like my own head cannon was that her eye color changed once she got this green power. So that kind of just, you know, shows that she, her eyes changed to green that important. I don't know whether I should have dark green or bright green. Although when I made her eyes really bright green, it really bothered me. So I could be bald. I don't, my skull looks friggin' huge. Everyone's skull looks so big. Like, there's no such thing as having a nice skull. <laughs> Except Solar, sort of. But like, he's an elf, so it's kind of expected. Yeah, so I can have a mullet. <laughs> it's kind of gross. It's grody. I can have this hair. Which looks fine on a dude. It looks really good on the male, on a male character. Um, I kind of want this because it's kind of, it's kind of badass. You have the the braid and yeah, but I'm white, so it kind of looks pasty. I just went with my default hair because there's not a lot to choose from, to be honest. But that's all right. Ooh, we can have dark brown, like my hair, like my own hair. I think I made it like red, actually. It was like really reddish. I don't know if I purposely did that. I know, I think I did purposely do that. I don't know why. I can't remember why. What my ugh, what my reasoning was behind it. Now I'm gonna have some brown. Some dark brown hair. Okay. Oh my gosh, I am so indecisive. My sideburns. <laughs> Everything you've heard, completely true. Oh, um, I I like both the voice actors because you can choose between two voice actors for both of them, and one's deeper, and one's like you know. Uh, Everything you've heard, completely true. Kind of more like the alto, um, like a higher end of an alto or a mezzo. As long as the job gets done, I don't care about the rest. And that would be like a low alto. Or like, you know, the, the bassy voice for a dude. Um, 
I reckon this voice would be really appropriate for a different type of character. I just realized, like, brown Everything hair heard, completely true. is so boring. I think that's why I changed it, but, like, that is so red. Should have... I don't know. No, I'm just going to go with brown. Everything you've heard? Completely true. Just like brown hair is so boring. And this is coming from someone who has brown hair. I like this voice better. I just hope I can help. As long as the job gets done, I don't care about the rest. I just don't yeah, I don't feel like <laughs> that voice is appropriate for my specific character. You leave me no choice. I feel like her face is kind of squished up a bit. Like, I kind of thought that when I was playing the game. But my face is kind of squished up a bit like that, so... <laughs> you leave me no choice. There we go. Like, yeah, my face looks like, you know, full... And that, I don't know how to explain it. My face looks like, yeah, it looks, you know, pretty white. And then you turn to the side and everything's, like, all squished up. Everything's all squished up. And change my ear size. Yeah, I don't want massive ears. Like, jeez. Yeah, and that's a cool thing about the customization. Like, you have this... And you can do that. That makes it actually really easy. I could have, I could have monkey ears. I'm so sorry to people who have big ears. I think my ears are way too far out. I don't really want that. But then it looks weird. But it already looks weird because the hair is like clipping. Oh my gosh, how big are your ears? Why do they look so weird? Yeah, I'm just gonna have a bit of fun with character creation. Just introduce you guys to it. Okay, I'm gonna change my hair quickly and see what my ears look like. They look really small now. I personally have big ears. They don't go out much, but I do have big ears. That's why you can't really tell because they don't go out. They kind of stick to my skull. None of you guys probably care about that. Um, that's why you don't have to see this. Oh, I changed my eye shape. Oh gosh. I'm pretty sure I changed my hair for the character creation because like it gets in the way so much. So I'm just gonna give myself this hair. Oh gosh. No, those are the best eyes. I changed my eyebrows. I can have no eyebrows. I can have whatever these are. Yeah, this looks like she doesn't really maintain her eyebrows. I don't think anyone does in this whole game. Like, really? Would you really have time to do your eyebrows? I can give them. Oh, yuck. Ugh, it's too thin. Too. Ugh. Nah. <laughs> None of this is happening. I think I found some really nice eyebrows. And I did them. Those ones, like, actually maintained, man. I maintain them. That's, like, overplucked. I think it was between ones that were, like, a bit fuller. Maybe, like... Nah. No. No. It was definitely that one. And I can look really surprised all the time. Or they can be low and close to my face. Or I can have short eyelashes. Or I can have really long eyelashes. Uh, but it's just gonna stay the same. Oh yeah, and you can do this too. Wee, 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 wee. I can make myself look like something from The Witcher. I can make it black, make the outer iris black. I can make this any color I want. I might make it like. Wait. Ah, oh, dang it. Did I actually change it? Like, is that. Did I actually change it at all? Wait. Oh, no, I didn't. It's just not, not very green, is it? Okay, I'm gonna already choose the eye color. Um, eyes. Yeah, for some reason when I messed around with it, it, yeah, it stays that way. But it doesn't stay that way. It just goes weird. Anyways. My nose. I'm going to change my nose shape. Oh, it could be down. It could be up. Oops. 
That's kind of what my nose, my nose looks like. That's pretty much exactly what my nose looks like. That is so creepy. I got the little bump, and then I got the stubby nose. Not too keen on my nose, but I'm not gonna cry about it. It doesn't keep me up at night. Like, it could be worse. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, no, it was that one. Yeah, that looks exactly like my nose. That's what my face looks like from side on, except my lips are different. And I have more Asian-ish features, sort of. So that's basically what my face looks like from side on. That's, that's uncanny. But I'm going to keep my nose. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't make a massive difference, really. Okay, fine. My nose. I'm so indecisive. It doesn't really make any difference. Okay, that's my nose. There they both. Noses don't look great in general. Just make the bridge like a massive. Ooh. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh, I can make the nose really long if I want to. Make the nostrils like super big. Oh my gosh. What is going on here? And I can break my nose. Ah. Oh my gosh. It's an abomination. Yeah, there we go. That's like breaking both sides. That's ridiculous. That's just like breaking one side. That's fine. But I don't want to break a nose. I never break my nose. I live a sheltered life. I could do that. Oh, that. That makes me look happy. Ish. I don't know. I can have uh, max lips where my mouth is constantly open all the damn time. Give myself super thick jaw. Give myself a massive Adam's apple if I so do wish. Oh my gosh, she looks like a turkey. Give myself a double chin too. Give myself the biggest double chin. Now I look like a dude. Now I look now I look really fat, even though I'm not. So it's gonna be really weird. Okay. My explanation. I had I gave her a scar on her lip, which is explained by like her getting into a fight when she was younger, because she was a bit of bit of a rebel. So she got in a fight when she was younger. Yeah, you can tear up your whole face, that's cool too. But yeah, when she was younger, she got into a fight and uh, yeah, I busted her lip and she was forever scarred. Not that she really gives a crap. Yeah, it was that one. You can make it really intense, like it's all—it's like fresh. Or you can make it like non-existent, like seriously, there's no point in even picking that in the first place. I can't remember if I made it like really deep. I made it like, you know, visible, like pretty damn, damn, darn, I was trying to say both. I made it pretty damn visible, so. Yeah, let's just have that. Um, I don't know what that does. Ah, it chips it to the side. I didn't know that. I didn't even mess around with that. Like, where is that going? Where is it going? I can make it go up. Which kind of looks... I can make it go down, halfway down my face. That actually makes very different, like, scars. Like, very, very different scars. And, uh, she got a, a tattoo. Because she wanted to be a bit of a rebel, but she didn't want a full tattoo. So I'm just gonna go through and show you guys. I am Batman. For some reason it reminds me of Batman. I think it's because of the surround her eyes and that, but yeah. Anyway, she's she's a, she's a damn rebel. So I can't remember how visible it was. It wasn't super duper visible. But it was visible enough. I think it was two. That sounds about right. Basically nothing. It's like black anyway, so it doesn't even matter. 
pretty sure I didn't change anything. Oh, whoops, I didn't want to do that. Woo, 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 woo. I'm gonna do, do, do my hairs. There we go. I am beautiful. Okay, so I'm just gonna end this little introduction here because the game will pretty much start straight after this. So hope you guys enjoyed part zero character creation. Good times. Well, I hope to see you guys in the actual playthrough. I hope you didn't just watch this and go, oh, it's shit, and like go off. Trust me, the actual playthrough is, will be more interesting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this introduction, I guess. I don't know if there's much to enjoy, but anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. And good day, good night, and farewell.